Hi there, this is David, and Steam is having a big sale right now. It's a spring sale, and I come to y'all eh, about once a season or so, and I like to kind of go through casually, very casually, very quickly, just kind of go through these games that are on sale and let you know what I think of them, just kind of some off-the-cuff remarks, so that you can kind of be confident in your buying decisions. This sale started today. It says it's going from March 16th to March 23rd. Third. So I figured I'd log on, see what's there. I really looked around for like a minute, and then I was like, eh, whatever, I'll just go ahead and do this video. So I don't really know what's on sale, but we're about to find out. So let's go ahead and look around. We got Persona 5 Royal, 35% off. Still kind of expensive, I've got to say, only 40 bucks. But, you know, it's Persona, and it's the best Persona. So you might as well check it out if you do like these games. This is a Western RPG, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, but it's $12. I've never played the Witcher games myself, um, but I did like the TV show, and that actor, I forgot his name, but he's so hot. What is his name? He played, like, Superman, too, and oh my god, he's so hot. But, <laughs> looks like it's overwhelmingly positive, so why not? The Monster Hunter Rise games, these games just get better and better. I remember when this series first started over on the PSP, and I was kind of, like, iffy on it, you know? But, um, looks to be getting better, it's 20 bucks, 50% off. Uh, Tales of Arise! Hell yeah! One of the best Tales games I've ever played in my life. 60% off, $24. You cannot go wrong with Tales of Arise. I love this game. This was like game of the year whenever it came out for me. Um, I don't play MMOs, but if you do, I've heard nothing but good things about Final Fantasy XIV. It's 50% off. I heard, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that you can play like up to level 60 right now for free. That might be World of Warcraft though. I don't know. These MMOs, they kind of get jumbled in my head. I played EverQuest back in the day. I started that when I was in high school back in like 98, 99, something like that. And uh, kind of got addicted to it. So I quit MMOs and I don't go back to it because I, like I have like an addictive personality, you know? So I, I just don't play those anymore. Tactics Ogre. <sighs> 30% off, $35, it's good. They made it so hard. There's this level cap though, and honestly, I've gotta say, I'm kind of in the field. I'm with Taylor of the Gaming Shelf. If you wanna play this game, play the PSP version. That's where I'm at with this one, these games that it makes me so hard. One Piece Odyssey, I really enjoyed this game. It came out a couple of months ago. 30% off, 42 bucks. If you're a fan of One Piece, if you're a fan of Dragon Quest, if you're a fan of Tales, if you're just a fan of turn-based role-playing games, buy this game. I really liked it. Harvest Stella. The demo sucked. Gotta say, demo sucked. The game itself, though, if you think that this is Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley or something along those lines, you're wrong. This is Secret of Mana. That's what this game is. This is Secret of Mana with job classes, and uh, I really, really liked Harvest Stella. I don't know if it's worth 42 bucks. That seems a bit much to me, but uh, yeah. Put, put, put this one on your wish list at least. Uh, I've gotta say that. Put this on your wish list. Maybe at 50% off, you might wanna pick it up. Forspoken. I know, a lot of people didn't like it. I am aware, I know. Is it worth $70 full price? No. Is it worth $46? Eh, maybe. Probably like Harvestella, probably worth it like a 50% off area. But I've gotta say, I enjoyed this game. I like this game. I beat this game fully. It took me only like 15 hours to do it, but I beat it and I really did like it. I haven't played Horizon Zero Dawn. I've heard good things about this one, though. Another Western RPG. Don't really play Western RPGs. I have heard very good things about this one, though. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. A lot of games that I haven't really heard of. Oh, Triangle Strategy. Oh, yeah. This is definitely worth the $30 that they are asking for this. This is turn-based strategy in the same vein as Tactics Ogre, Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, HD 2D style, like Octopath Traveler, very, very good game. Multiple endings, multiple characters, multiple paths, lots of ways to fight the battles and finish the battles and all that kind of stuff. I think that you'll have a really good time with Triangle Strategy. Oh, here's some more. 
uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth, only $13, and you get two games in this one. This is classic turn-based battles, that sort of stuff set in the Digimon universe. If you're a fan of that or Digimon, pick it up. Tales of Vesperia. This is actually one of my favorite Tales games of all time. It's probably like the last Tales game that actually had a full-on world map. And it uses the progression system of Final Fantasy IX, where you um, equip certain pieces of weapons and armor, equipment, accessories, whatever. And then you're able to learn skills and abilities through that. So I really like the game. I like that progression system. This is the game, the game, that I bought the Xbox 360 for back in the day. AI, the Somnium Files, I'm sure I mispronounced that. I've heard good things. People talked about this in the comments. Um, I've heard good things on Facebook, too, about this game. To me, I'm not going to buy it. It's 60% off. It's $15, $16, whatever. If you want it, pick it up. It's a visual novel. And that's what I'm going to say about that. I'm not a fan of the visual novels. That's just me. Brave the Default 2. Ha! Huh! The Bravely series. One of my favorite series of all time, I've got to say. Uh, one of the main reasons why I actually bought the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this is classic JRPG with the world map, with job classes, with the turn-based battle system. There is grinding, but it doesn't take forever to grind because of the Brave and the Default system and all that, where you can kind of like save up turns and just beat the crap out of the enemies. This is a lot of fun. Definitely, definitely worth $30 if you are a fan of old-school turn-based JRPGs. Trails from Zero. This one just came out physically, but it has been on the PC for a while now. $32. And I've got to say, of the mainline trail series of Sky, of the Crossbell, of Cold Steel, the Crossbell games are my favorite. They are definitely my favorite, and this begins the Crossbell duology. I like the characters. I like the region. I just like being in Crossbell, and uh, Zero is totally, totally worth it. I actually went, and even though I Let's Played this game back in the day, and I played it back on the PSP when it first translated, I purchased the Collector's Edition whenever it came out physically. I liked it that much, and uh, I got Azure as well physically too. Persona for the Golden, 20% off, only $16. This one's so much cheaper than Persona 5. This is probably the reason why I bought the Vita. This along with Tales of Hearts are the reasons why I bought the Vita. Speaking of which, Tales of Hearts needs to go on the PC, like right now. Um, this is a lot of fun. If you like Persona, you might want to pick this up. It's kind of murder mystery going on. It's kind of a sleepy little town. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Come down here, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, only $15, 75% off. This one is fun. Action RPG set in the Dragon Ball universe, you'll have a good time with this. Scarlet Nexus, okay, this one came out of nowhere. I was told, to, okay, at the same time, there was two games that I was told about. I was told about Code Vein, which is right over here, and I was told about Scarlet Nexus. And this was in the comments section. People were like circle jorking over these two games at the same time. And I went out and I bought both of them at the same time. And I'm going to say this. Well, Code Vein is a Souls-like that I absolutely abhorred. I hated. Scarlet Nexus was fantastic. I loved Scarlet Nexus. This was such a fun game. This one came out of nowhere. I didn't think that I was going to like it just because of like, the cover art and stuff. And I didn't think that it was going to be my type of game. But this is a fun, fun Action RPG remind me a lot, a lot of tales. Code Vein, avoid like the plague. Horrible. Valkyrie Elysium, avoid like the plague. Horrible. <laughs> Trying to find something good to say about it, but honestly, I really can't. Is it worth $30? No. Is it worth $10? No. It might be worth like five. They need to put this like 90% off. I'm sorry. Let's see what else we got going on down here. I'm a lot of Western RPGs. Things like that. Wow, the Steam... So $360 for the Steam Deck? Wow, I had no idea that it cost that much. Holy crap, that's ridiculous. 
Let's see what's going on here in role-playing games. Here we are. Oh, wow. Elder Scrolls Online, $6. Divinity 2 Original Sin. I've heard good things about this one. Really good things about this one. $18 right here. If you like that, that's like a strategy um, RPG. Marvel's Midnight Sun. Oh, is this on sale? No, these are just games on my wish list right here, but they're not on sale. I just want to look at stuff that's on sale right now. Let's see what we got going on here. Anything new? Ooh, Nier Autonoma. Nice. 50% off, only 20 bucks uh, for that one. That's really good price right there. Nino Kuni 2, Reverend Kingdom, 80% off, only $12 for this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I loved loved the original Nino Kuni. And Nino Kuni 2 isn't as good as the original Nino Kuni, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad game. That just means that it's not as good as like a masterpiece. It's still such a good game. <laughs> South Park the Fractured Butthole. Um, that one's fun. $13. If you're a fan of South Park or even just turn-based battles or whatever, um, you're gonna want to check that one out. That one's really cute. That one's a lot of fun. Let's see what else we got going on down here. Persona 3 Portable is on here, only $16. So that's nice. You can get like the entire Persona collection just about um, on sale right now. So that's pretty neat. Very, very good. Uh, let's see. Anything new? Anything new? We've done zero for spoken. This, this Omori game. I've heard a lot about it's like people compare it to Earthbound or Undertale or whatever. I don't personally see it. And to me, it doesn't look like something that's up my alley just because I'm not really into horror. That's not my thing. I like games that are bright and bubbly and happy. That's what I like. But I have heard that it's kind of cool. And you like fight turn-based battles based upon your emotions. So if you're into that sort of stuff, check it out. South Park, The Stick of Truth, very nice, 75% 75, 75 off, only $8.50 right there for that one. Kind of neat. Couple more I see here, the Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, 43% off, about $40 right now. That one is worth it right there. It also has the Yuffie DLC, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, Marvel's Midnight Suns is on sale, 50% off, only $30. I've heard so many good things about this game. This is like you take control of Marvel superheroes and you fight with tactical turn-based combat. There's like a little deck builder component to it as well. So that's pretty neat. If you're one of the three people on the planet who hasn't played Skyrim yet, that's on sale. It's only $10, so that's pretty cool. It's a Western RPG, you know, so not really my thing, but, I mean, it's Skyrim, like, for God's sake, so, you know, come on. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, Stardew Valley is not on sale. Interesting. Okay, it looks like it's starting to repeat some things. The Witcher, Nier, all these. Oh, Crisis Core! Final Fantasy VII Reunion is on sale. $40. This is 20 percent off right there so if you never played this on the psp and you want to pick it up now is a great time with this sale as you can see lots and lots of stuff are on sale right now over on steam so if you want to pick up some stuff on the cheap digitally now is the time i hope that this video helped you out again i just wanted to do kind of, kind of like a quick and dirty overview of what is available over here on Steam. Hope that you enjoyed this. I do hope that I was helpful as well. Let me know of any kind of good deals that you were able to get uh, in the comments as well. I would be highly interested to know. I'm always on the lookout for good games, good recommendations. That's how I'm able to recommend games to y'all is by reading y'all's comments and seeing like, oh, hey, you know, this person over there, they really like this game. So I should recommend that to all of y'all. So do let me know. I'm always looking forward to reading those. And uh, as always, have a good day.